Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at an issue with dependent data validation drop-down lists. Often when you have drop-down lists that are dependent on other drop-down lists, there may be an error where it's showing an incorrect or invalid choice in the subcategory or the dependent drop-down list. So let's see how we can solve that issue in Excel. So here's our scenario. I have a list of categories, candy, fruit, miscellaneous, and others. And then for each one of those categories, I show four subcategories. I want to have a drop-down list here of the categories. And then based on the choice there, I want another drop-down list only showing those subcategories. And then once we've created that, I'll show you what the potential issue is. So the first thing I want to do is name these ranges based on their headings. So the easiest way to do that is select the range including its header. Go to the Formula tab, Create from Selection, make sure Top Row is selected, and say OK. And now having done that, if I select these four items, notice they're called Categories. I could do the same for all these four ranges at once. Again, Create from Selection just have top row selected and say OK. And now if I choose these four, it says candy, these four, fruit, etc. Then I'll go to where I want the category drop-down list, go to my Data tab, Data Validation, choose List, then I will say equals categories, Say OK, and now I have a drop-down list of those four categories. Next, I'll go to this cell, Data Validation. Again, choose List, and I'll type in equals indirect. Select this cell, close my parentheses, say OK, and now I have a drop-down list based on the subcategories for the category I selected. If I change this to fruit, now my group or my subcategory is now apples, peaches, oranges, etc. I change this to other, and again, I have the choice of hay, rocket, baseball, or toothpicks. Okay. Our issue comes in when, let's say I change my category back to candy and leave it that way. It shows candy with a subcategory of toothpicks which is not one of my choices here. I only have these four choices. However, since I didn't make a choice and this one was residual from the previous category that was chosen, it appears that toothpicks is a valid subcategory of candy, but it is not. So how do we solve this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use conditional formatting to solve that. And this is the formula we're going to use in our conditional format. And it uses the COUNTIF function, the OFFSET function, and the MATCH function. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, eliminate my apostrophe here so you can actually see the formula and how it works. So what this is saying is in your COUNTIF function you have a range and then you have your criteria. In this case, my range uses the offset and match function, and we'll talk about that in a second. But if I resolve that, it's choosing chocolate, suckers, taffy, and gum, which are the four items within my candy category, which is what's chosen in cell A3. My criteria is toothpicks. So I basically am saying, does the criteria toothpicks appear in my range, and then does that equal zero? In this case, it does equal zero, so I have a true. If instead I chose chocolate, notice I get a false. Now how the offset function is working, it's the offset function Basically, it defines a range of values for an item listed in the category list. There's a reference, and then how many rows down and columns over, and then how high and how wide is the range I want it to be. So here, my starting point is cell B2. I'm going to go down one row to B3. 
I'm going to go over how many columns. Well, I want to match cell H3, which is candy, in C2 to F2. And that will tell me to go over one column. And then I want it four high and one wide, which will give me those four items. So in this case, does a count if of chocolate in the list of candy equals zero? No, it equals one because chocolate is within that range. So I get a false. So what I want to do is I'm going to use this formula in my conditional formatting for cell I3. I'm going to go to the Home tab, Conditional Format, New Rule. I'm going to use a formula to determine which cell to format, and I'm going to paste in that formula. Now my format is going to be white text for cell I3. I'll say OK and OK. Now, if that count turns out to be true where that count if equals zero, then that will turn to a white text. In this case, that count if is one because chocolate does appear in that list. So now if I change this to fruit, notice even though it shows chocolate in the formula bar, the text turns white, so it now appears that I have to make a choice in my subcategory, which I will to oranges. That formula now becomes false, meaning my count if formula does not equal zero, therefore the conditional format is not implemented. Again, if I change my category to other, that turns to a white text, the format changes, even though there was something in there and it appears that now I have to make a selection in my subcategory based on the choices. And that's how you can solve that issue in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bice.com or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy Excelling!